Today we're going to be doing a mod on the Breville Bambino and Breville Bambino Plus. But before we get into that, I just want to say welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you want to brew with at home. So if you could do me a favor and please like and subscribe. It shows me that the, the analytics show me that a lot of people don't subscribe to my channel that watch my content. So if that's you, please consider subscribing. If you're looking at purchasing any of the stuff used to make these mod, please use the links below. I'll make a slight commission and no extra charge to you. Um, and that just goes back into my channel to buy machines like this to risk damaging them in order to save you money and save you time in the long run. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it. We're going to add a flow control mod or a dimmer mod to both of these machines which allow you to control the flow rate of the water coming out. So starting off you're going to remove the water tank from the back. It's pretty self-explanatory on that. I have this one fully done. The Breville Bambino is fully done and the mod is complete and working and the Breville Bambino Plus is not fully done and not working. So after you got that water tank off, you're gonna remove a screw here, here, and then one directly on the bottom, and then this entire thing just kind of pops off. You'll need more force than that. It was kind of half off when I got there, so I cheated. And you're gonna have a little tube coming down the back there, so you're just gonna remove this back plastic part, and there you go. So you're gonna need a screwdriver, a Phillips screw head, um, some male and female spades, electrical tape, 14 AWG wire that I have here, and um, some uh, wire cutting tools here. Um, so wire stripping and wire cutting and wire crimping. And then of course you're gonna need a simple dimmer mod which you can find on Amazon, link in the description below. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this around here. And I'm gonna explain some things to do and not to do while doing this mod. Almost need a bigger table. All right. Now that we have this off, I'm going to use the screwdriver to kind of point to things a little bit of where we're going. But what you're going to see here is you're going to see this machine is completely done. You're going to have an Olka pump here on this machine, and you're going to have an Olka pump there on this machine. So basically the same location. And what you're going to do is there's going to be a cable plugged right here where that screwdriver is. Maybe you can see it right there. There's a little plug, you simply unplug that and you're gonna route it into the dimmer mod and then back around and plug it back in with the other side of the dimmer mod and then ground the green cable over there. So to show you what that looks like, to explain it a little bit more, on the Breville Bambino Plus, you can see there's a little gap right here and this is the little plug that you unplug and it looks like that right there. It's got a female spade on there. So there's two different types of spades when it comes to things. And what a spade is, it basically allows you to connect two wires together. Um, I'm not an electrician or anything like that, and I managed to do this quite easily. Um, so I wanted to explain that as best as I could. So what you're doing is you're basically making a circle with a cable. So you have one cable that's plugged in the machine. You unplug it. You are going to add two long wires. So you're going to add a long wire, plug it into the dimmer mod, take that other wire and plug it into the extra long wire and then back into the machine making kind of a full circle of cables. You need to extend the cables in order to get the dimmer mod either on the side of the machine or on the top of the machine like so. I did hear once that you could probably fit the dimmer on the inside of it and I tried that and I drilled a hole on the side of it and I could not get it in there because the dimmer, this dimmer, um, turn thing, whatever you call it, that the knob sits on, is too short to actually go through the length of the machine. Um, so I'm going to have to put a sticker over that hole and move on from that. Anyway, so what I have here is I have my wire. I have one wire and I had two wires here. There's the second one. And there's two different types of spades. I actually bought the wrong size one, so I'll try to link the right ones in there, but I still made them work anyway. So there's two different sides of a spade. There's a male side and a female side. When you think of it, think of it this way. When you have, um, are plugging something into an outlet or into a socket, um, the device that you're plugging into is gonna have two to three prongs kind of sticking out and it's gonna go inside the wall outlet. So the three prongs sticking out um, that go into something is called the male side. And the male side goes into the female side. Um, so if you look here closely, it might be a little hard to see, um, but I have two different sides here. I have the male side in this hand, and I have the female side in this hand, and they simply plug in together. And that is how we're going to do this mod. So first off, 
once you have unplugged um, your female from the male spade of the machine, you're going to simply plug in that male side into that female side of your wire that I already pre-cut. And then I'm going to remove the top part of, there's little caps on the end of my dimmer. I'm going to remove one of those on one of the black sides. It does not matter which one. Um, both of them will do the same thing and both of them will get you there. So since this is a female end, I need a male side of it, which I don't know where I have those hiding underneath of the machine itself. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a male side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to put the wire slightly through. And it helps if you twist the wire here and you're going to want it sticking out slightly through the blue part there. So if you look, that is what it looks like. And you have your um, side almost done. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a crimping side. Um, my little tools say crimp on it. And you're going to basically bend the metal over the wire so it does not fall out when you tug on it so it's nice and secure. And then once you have that down and it's nice and secure, you're going to take that wire and you're going to plug it into that female side like so. And then you have another wire in. It helps if you start with plugging this wire in. So if you start with plugging this in down here at the bottom, it's going to be a little hard to do on camera, so I'm not even going to try. But I'm going to plug this on the bottom and that leaves me with a male side sticking up which means I am going to need to take a female spade like so and I'm going to pop off this little extra wire cap and then I'm going to do the same thing where I stick the wire slightly through so it's sticking through the crimp portion of it and I'm going to take my crimpers weird word um, also now is to say don't blame me if you break your machine um, I don't think you will but I successfully did this and I had no problems with it and machine machine fired right up after I did this. So now you can kind of see right there that female side all crimped and ready to go. And then I'm just going to simply plug that in to my male side and then I would plug that in all the way down there as well, but that's kind of tricky to do. So once you have all that done, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your green wire and this is the ground plug. So this is safety so you don't electrocute yourself. And what you can see here is on the machine, the Bambino. What I did was I simply took that green wire and I put it right there around the little shell of there so you can kind of bend out that little piece of metal and I wrapped it in there so that's not going anywhere and now it's safe to use. And then all of those little little pieces right here that you have uh, the male and female spades that you kind of crimp together, you're going to wrap those in electrical tape. It doesn't have to look pretty. Um, it just needs to be safe. And then you're going to pop that back on and run your machine and it should work um, perfectly fine then. If you have an issue with anything, um, try clicking the button. Uh, some of the buttons push down and that might turn your machine on if it wasn't already on. And then you can just adjust the dial for your flow rate coming out. If nothing's coming out, try turning the knob because it might be on the off mode. Um, now there's a couple things that I want to note. Is one, you should probably try to mount it on the outside of it and it can be completely reversed and you can remove all these cables and be back to normal. Two, on the Bambino, one of the things I had a problem with was all these wires were sticking up and pressed up against the plastic portion of the casing. That means I needed to remove some of the plastic on the inside to put the plastic back on the outside. So you can see here I cut right here so these there's a piece of plastic right there that was kind of useless so I cut it so I can shove the wires in there. And then the last thing I did was in order to get that to close fine you have to kind of press down. It's kind of hard to get back on there. Um, obviously you don't take this off a ton. Once you modify it once you should be good to go for the rest of your life. Um, but what I did was in order to make all of this set flush up against this, you need to um, cut a little hole here or on the side depending on where you're at and that backing will sit on fine. 
on the Bambino Plus, you can see that there's not really any plastic getting in the way of things, so you can kind of set it flush, and you can put it back on here like so, and you should be completely good to go, and no issues, and you're back up and running. So that's it. That is how you do the dimmer mod and flow control mod, and the reason why you would want to do this is it allows you to really get good shots of espresso even if you mess up your grind setting so you can change your flow rate to kind of hit that 25 to 30 seconds of espresso out into your cup. Um, so yeah, that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. Uh, don't get too intimidated this mod. It's actually a lot easier than you think it might be. I have no electrical things um, about me, uh, hence the word electrical things, uh, and I was able to get this done, and I think you'll be able to too. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.